Just a very quick video here. Uh, I'm trying to get through all of the little modules that I bought over the years and never got a chance to play with. Just uh, touching them as quickly as possible. This is a little 433 MHz uh, transmitter. And then there's the matching receiver. Um, these are extremely cheap. You know, I got like about a whole box of them for like five bucks. Uh, in actual use, these need to have an antenna attached to them. You can either just use a straight piece of wire or they sell these like that's the right length um, to be uh, at that frequency um, to get two feet on the on the bench it doesn't matter anyway uh, all you need to do to these things is hook up power get ground signal and power um, I'm feeding this at 5 volts uh, 5 volts to power this thing and then I'm feeding it a, uh, a square wave um, it's a thousand Hertz right now uh, and then on the other side, I'm feeding, I'm also giving the receiver 5 volts. It's only, you can see it's only drawing 10 milliamps. Um, so it's pretty low power. Um, that's the circuit there. Um, there's ground uh, 5 volt. And then I think the two, both of the two center pins are data. They're just shorted together. Uh, so you can use either one of them. And, uh, and here's the output. Um, if I run the frequency up and down on here, so uh, I'm at the thousand hertz. That's thousand hertz, and uh, if I run it. There's two thousand hertz, three thousand hertz. I don't know what the bandwidth of this is. I'm sure it's way higher than this. I've gone up to fifteen kilohertz. A lot. Lock on that. Stop. Yeah, it doesn't seem too happy. Um, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Seems kind of vaguely. I think 10 kilohertz is pushing it. You could maybe get, so you could maybe get 9600 baud serial pushed through this. Through one of these things. Um, there's plenty of uh, examples online of using this thing, Arduino. Um, the thing is that this is strictly a somewhat noisy uh, serial uh, serial link, so you need to use libraries that can put up with some noise. Um, and if you're going to, if you turn off the transmitter. Uh, I noticed, uh, let me just kill the transmitter here. If I kill the transmitter, uh, run. If you kill the transmitter, you get all kinds of garbage out of the receiver. Because, I mean, it's picking up God knows what from, you know, just any old rando interference. Uh, so, uh, if it doesn't have a solid signal, you just get random garbage. And you need to have a library of, uh, a data library that's, uh, able to reject that noise and you probably want to do some at least check summing on your data um, maybe check sum it and do multiple transmissions that's all for now